so let me first write the problem here okay so we have Okay, so we have this problem. Four capacitors A, B, C, and D are connected across a 150 DC source. Okay, so the charges accumulated in A, B, and C are equal to 200, 750, and 1,500 coulombs respectively. If the total if the total capacitance of the combination is known to be 35 microfarad so how much charge is accumulated in capacitor D okay So let's just um Assume that this is a parallel connected capacitor, so we'll have this one are connected. So let's just check. So it is are connected in parallel. So that's why I could not picture out the circuit. So are connected in parallel across a 150 volt DC source. Okay. So we have four capacitors connected in parallel. Okay, solution. we have first this is our first capacitor then we have the second here we have another one here and another one here okay. so we have four capacitors connected in parallel okay so let's just try to have that one align So the source is the source is one hundred one hundred fifty volts DC. This is our E. Okay, so we have here our A. This is B. This is C and this is D. Then the charge flowing. 
So that's what we need green. So the charge flowing in A. So this is QA. Let's have the class QA is equal to 2000. This is 2000 column. The charge flowing in B. Charge flowing in B. This is equal to 750 column. And the charge flowing in C is equal to 1,500 column. And in D, so that is what we are going to solve. So the D is unknown. Okay? Then we have here the total um, the total charge QT which is not also given and the total capacitance so the total capacitance the CT is equal to 30 microfarad okay so we are going to solve for the charge at capacitor D so in order for us to do that so we must remember the the property of um, parallel connected capacitors. So when it comes to charge, so QT total charge QT is equal to the charge on e, the sum of the charge in individual branches. So that is QA QB plus QC plus QD. So we have the we have the value of QA given 2000 column. QB is also given 750 column. QC is also given which is 1500 columns. So let's rewrite that one. 15 so that is 20. Okay. 1, 5, 1,500 columns and we are looking for QD. Now our total capacity, uh, total charge is not given so we, but we can solve that one by the formula. So CT is equal to QT or the total charge over the voltage source E. So solving for QT so we have QT is equal to E times CT. So that is simple algebraic manipulation. So we have 1, 5, 150, okay? 150 volts times our CT is 35 microfarad. Okay? So we have 150 times 35 microfarad so that is equal to just have 5.25 so we have 5.5 25 milli column or this is equal to 5250 so so let's first check the okay so I want to check first the given so this is not um column but this rather this is micro column so sorry for the for writing the formula for writing 
this one as column so that is micro column so our given are all in micro column so let's just change this one first okay so that's why i am wondering why my total charge is in micro column but my given is in column so this is micro column micro column and micro column okay So we will continue. So we have, we are now um, finished solving for the total charge. So we will go now to substituting the total charge and the given in this equation. So we have 5,250 micro column is equal to QA is 2000 2000 micro column plus our QB is 750 micro column and our QC is 1500 micro column then we have our unknown which is the Q sub D or QD. So to solve for QD, we will transpose this 3 to the, to the left side of the equation. So that's why there's, all of this 3 will be subtracted to this 1, the total charge. So we will have 5,250 micro column minus 2000 micro column minus 750 micro column minus 1500 micro column is equal to q sub d so we have 5,250 so we could neglect the micro because all of their um, units are in micro minus 2,000 minus 750 minus 1,500 and this is equal to 1,000 micro column and this is now our q d this is now our answer